The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Imagine struggling every day to simply put on a shoe and hobble through life because your foot looked like this. Joining us is foot and ankle surgeon, Dr. Ali Reza Kosro Body and his patient, Brianna. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you, thank you. Nice to have you back, Dr. K, and it's nice to meet you, Brianna. So, Dr. K, tell us, when you first met Brianna, you examined her foot, what were your impressions? So yeah, Brianna is suffering from a condition called brachymetatarsia. She has it in her fourth digit, which is the most common place, and she only has it on her right foot. And about 30 to 40% of these cases can be on both feet. Um, her case is from moderate to severe. I want to probably put it in the severe because she has about 18, 19 millimeters of shortening. That's almost an inch of shortening. That's a lot. And these patients usually suffer from uh, wearing shoes because the toe, as you can see in that picture, still sits on top and it's, it's rubbing against the shoe, especially close to shoes, correct? Yes. And also the bottom, because this fourth metatarsal is short, most of the weight is transferred to the third and the fifth metatarsal. So when they walk, those two areas are very sore and becomes more painful as she walks. Let's turn to you, Brianna. Tell us, how has this impacted your life? Like over the years, I, when I became an adult, I just shut down because I didn't know what was wrong with me. I didn't have answers. I've never seen anybody else with it. So my, none, of, and no, none of my family members have it. So as far as I was concerned, I was the only one in the world with this condition. Mm -hmm. um, so it just made me really shut down. So Dr. K, walk us through the procedure and we can see that she recently had this done. I guess it's been a matter of weeks. Is that right correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, Brianna um, opted to do the bone grafting procedure in the operating room. What I do is I install a device similar to this and cut the bone and extend the bone. And when we are out to length to that desired length, then I measure the distance between the two bone segments and um, I choose a bone graft. Usually we get it from the bone bank and I measure that and I cut it and put it in that space and we put a plate and few screws to hold it in that position. I also use a joint spacer, which is something that I have come up with to, to create a space in the joint. Otherwise the acute lengthening or one stage lengthening can jam the joint and they won't be able to move their toe. Mm. So I could say um, bone grafting more than one centimeter has not been done that commonly because of those issues, but I've been able to resolve those issues for the past five years and have a lengthening that's more than one centimeter and still be successful and functional. And that's what she had. And I can't wait to show it to her what it looks like. <laughs> let's cut to the chase. Let's see those results, Dr. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I love doing these procedures because um, it's life changing. I usually put a compressive bandage to just keep the swelling down. So we're going to cut through that first. Um, what kind of anesthesia did she, did Brianna get? She got a general anesthesia. Okay. So that way she was out. She didn't feel anything while we, we were doing that. But all right. Um, are we ready to see this? Yes. All right. Been almost 30 years. All right. All right. This is it. Here is your foot. And here's your smiley face. Oh and here's your toe. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it looks beautiful. It's flowing oh nicely. It's wow. out to length and you have a scar, but wow. that's going to heal just fine. Brianna, I see you're feeling overwhelmed over there. You, you know, you're kind of clutch, clutching at your heart. What, what's going through your mind right now? Just that after almost 30 years, I look normal i can feel normal like you honestly gave me a normal life after all these years oh you're welcome and you deserve I'm so it excited. you deserve it love that all right well it's just going to get better listen thank you so much dr k as always and brianna we wish you all the best. You're going to be in those high heels soon, right, Doc? <laughs> That's right. Yes, yes. We love it. 